Yes, up. Much better clean. Take your time. Recollect yourself whenever you're ready. Ah. Why? That was just too slow. I thought about it too much. OK, what else? It didn't drop low enough. Um, I felt a little bit of bend. Yes, on. why? Not a tight enough core. Yes, what else? You just rocked forward. Yeah. Right, your weight wasn't on your midfoot heel. Yeah, that was, like I said, it was just more concentrated on speed, not really the dip and drive through there. I was more worried about just getting under, so kind of did this. So full explosion first. And then get under. And then get under. Yep. But the clean was much better. Did you feel the difference? Oh, yeah. It was, a, was it an easier pull? It's a lot lighter. <laughs> it's a lot lighter. <laughs> Funny how that works. You want some more water? Do you want chalk? Would you want chalk if it were pink? No. Should we make some pink chalk? No. Oh, blue chalk? Look at the clock and wait, wait a minute, plus 20, 20 dots. Yeah. We can talk about something fun if you want in the meantime, or not. What you got? What I got. What is your favorite TV show? What's your favorite meal? Let's talk about food. Everything. Everything. Favorite. Yeah? Favorite TV show, I'd have to go with How I Met Your Mother. <laughs> Who's your favorite actor? Favorite actor? Like all time? Sure. I'm a huge John Wayne fan. That okay. Works. Favorite actress? That's hard. I don't know. Top three? Give me Kira, something to work with. Kira Knightley. Kira Knightley. Okay, who else? Your future, your future ex-wife. <laughs> Who else? Natalie Portman. Okay. I can't think See a theme here. <laughs> I don't know. I can't think of it. <laughs> We're going to go at 104, okay? Yeah. What's your favorite color after pink? Black. Black. Black is definitely. So your wardrobe is reflective of your favorite colors. <laughs> Right now, I mean. So what are we focusing on in the clean? We're focusing on two things. Focusing on tempo and keeping bar close. And we're, active. That's right. And what are we focusing on the jerk? On the jerk, focusing on not dipping forward and full dip and drive all the way and then speed under. And what do we do before we do those things? Keep the core tight. Keep the core tight. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Soft knees. Soft knees. Core tight, soft knees, big drive, then get under. Yep. Whenever you're ready. Up, up. Okay. Yes, much better jerk. Yep, 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 you're good. So it, it, it even went behind you a little bit because it was yeah. such an explosive like jerk, so that was good. Tell me about that clean. How did that feel? Good. Okay. Felt really good. Um, felt like I loosened up just a little bit as it passed my knees. Uh huh. Not so much at the beginning, uh -huh. but I felt the tempo was good. Um, so what happens when that happens? Like, as a result, how did the clean feel? Kind of came forward a little bit. Kind of came forward. What else? Um, I don't know. I don't remember anything I passed that. So because you are a little soft here, you weren't able to explode as much or create as much momentum or come up as high. Yeah. So therefore, it was a little harder to get under that clean and stand up with it, right? Because all of a sudden, you're soft. Yeah. So this next clean, we're going to try it one more time. What are yeah. we going to focus on? Same thing we've been doing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just to sum it up. So it's 106 right now. We're going to count to 107. Because why, Jonathan? We need to replenish the ATP so that we are more powerful in our lift. <laughs> I'm just a spectator right now. <laughs> Looking pretty in your jacket. <laughs>
He's like, the longest minute ever, and everyone's staring at me. <laughs> so clean, we're focusing on what two things? Staying tight and tempo. OK. And then jerk, we're focusing on what things? On a full dip and drive, powerful drive, mm -hmm. speed on the bar. All right, I'll take that. It's 107, whenever you're ready. Is that a good answer? It's a good answer, yeah. Sweet. It's a great answer. Why? That one I just caved. No, why? Not tight enough in the core. Why else? Grip and rip on that one. Then thank you. Yeah. One oh seven right now. We'll take a we'll take a full two minutes. Yeah. Go outside and walk to that last car and come back. The last car. In the meantime, I will talk to Jonathan about car. ATP <laughs> and muscle muscle recruitment. Okay. 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 <laughs> so how long should you take in between max lifts? Um, in between, in between max lifts. About two, three minutes. About two, three minutes. And why? <laughs> <laughs> um, to give your muscle enough time to recover. That's right. So, so, so actually, um, when you don't take the full two, three minutes, you, you can perform the movement and people do it all the time, right? But you end up recruiting not the main muscle groups because you're, they're still fat fatigued from the rep before, right? So you're not fully recruiting the big muscle movers. So the next rep is like, ooh, not as, not as nice. Not as nice. Scientific technical term. I'm so tired. So tired from walking? Do you want some water? I don't need any water. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> At 109, we'll go. Okay. <laughs> go ahead, whenever you're ready. Keep it tight. Tight and powerful. See it? Tight and powerful. Tight and powerful. Up. Do you want one more try? That was just a bad stand. That was a, well, that wasn't just a bad stand, but do you want one more try or are you good here? Uh, fun, right? It, it wasn't just, I, I want one more. Well, yeah. Okay, so it wasn't just a bad stand. So you came forward on your toes on the dip, yeah. which inherently puts the bar forward Sorry. and everything else comes forward, right? So it wasn't just a bad stand. But to fix the problem when you're in the movement, yeah, if you stand up faster, came under it, then you would have been in a better receiving right. position, right? So you really like grip and rip, ripping the bar, okay? But your, your positioning was decent enough that you were able to get away with it and you were faster at the end than you were at the beginning, right? So gripping and ripping kind of works as long as you maintain good position and you're tight yeah. and you're way faster at the end than you're at the beginning. Yeah. So play with going just a tiny bit slower at the beginning yeah. and same fast at the end and you'll see a huge difference in actually momentum of the bar, yeah. okay? So it's 110 now, we're gonna go at 111, and then that'll be the last one. Yeah, yeah that one I would like drag the foot forward. It's like. <laughs> yeah, where's the bar that you're supposed to hit? Here you go. See what happens, See what happens? it's all my fault. So aim for that plate with your front foot. Do you need something more visually helpful? No, that's fine. Yellow. <laughs> It's Yellow. It's got to be pink. I don't have anything pink. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're going to have to make do with yellow. I can do it. 111. I think it 111. Tight on the clean. Slow at the beginning. Fast at the end. Fast at the end. Stay on your midfoot <clears throat> heel on the jerk. Yeah. That's all you got to do. All right? Let's see it. Yeah. Let's see it. Show me.
Up. Oh. <laughs> I think we're calling it a day. Yeah, That's it. <laughs> Good try. <laughs> we'll get it next time. <laughs> lost it in my fingers. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please press the like button and subscribe below. For more information on Olympic lifting, merchandise, or improving your lifts, check out woolift.com. Link is in the description below. Thanks, guys.